Okay, so let's start off with the script. I've created a script here called move. And when the world starts, it sends an event called move to one, right? To whatever object we want to move. This script is attached to that object. And it will send that script after this many seconds. So we want it to start immediately as the world starts. It will do the move one event. So then the next thing we got here is when event move to one is received, then it will do this action, which is move to the position of a variable, which is an object, over two seconds. So it will move this object over two seconds to the location of another object, which we created just three object variables, stop one, stop two, and stop three. So um, it'll move this object to the position of another object over two seconds, um, and then it will send another event called move to two to this object, and it will wait three seconds to send that event. And it needs to be higher than the move time because if you send this event before it's done moving, you'll never get to your destination. So if it's going to take two seconds to get to stop two, then it's going to be three seconds from the time this whole block started to send this event. So you'll only have one second where it stops. So then we just do the same thing for move two. Uh, it moves the object to the position of the variable stop three over two seconds, and then it calls move to three, and so on and so forth. It's just do this over and over for as many stops as you need. Um, the key is to create object variables and assign those object variables. So I have this cube here, and the cube, let's see if this will work. Okay. Yeah, so the cube has the three variables, it's got the script assigned to it, and it's got the three variables, and those three objects um, are these three yellow container or half ball things. So what's going to happen is when the world starts, the cube will receive an event called move to one, so it will move from where it is to this location. And then there'll be another event. Oops, close that. There it goes. All right. So when when it starts, it will execute move to one. So it will move to this block, and then it will send the event move to two with a delay of one second because it's going to take two seconds to move. Um, and then it's going to, after it gets here in one second, it should get there. It's going to take two seconds to get from there to there. Then it's going to wait one second and then go from there to there in two seconds. Then wait one second and then go back to one. So let's go ahead and uh, restart the world. Where's my... Okay. So if we come over here and reset the world. Everything is where it belongs. I'm going to move this up. And if I start the world, you'll see it. Okay, so I got something wrong there. With the first one anyways. So, um, oh, because there's nothing telling it to wait at one. So what's happening is it's, it's starting here and it's going to this, which is telling it to go to this, but there's no delay. I didn't put a delay. So let me let me just put in that delay real quick. Okay, so the only difference I did is I I added the event. So when the world starts, it will move to the location of position one immediately, right? So we want it to start at position one. Then it's going to wait one second and then tell it to move to. Then it's going to send that event move to one, which is going to tell it to move to. Uh, two, right? Because we're already at one. Uh, 
right? Yeah. So it's going to send this event to pretend it's starting from this one. So it's basically, uh, like I said, the same thing on all of them. Just send the action telling it to move to the position of a thing and uh, wait so many seconds to, or take so many seconds to get to that position. And then also send an event to move to the next position one second longer than it's going to take you to reach your destination. Um, and you just do that over and over until you get a round trip. And so now if we look at this, so now if I start the world, it will move immediately to one and then transition to two then transition to three and then come back to one. To, and it'll do this forever. Now, of course, you don't want to see those locations, so you can hide them and it'll still go to them. So if I go ahead and find this and make it not visible, it will still reach that area. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.